Hello beautiful souls. Michelle Joy from Sovereign Souls. I was inspired to um, talk a little bit about something that I've spoken to a few people about recently and um, and it supported them so I thought why not share it out. It's um, something I definitely have spoken about before but it's becoming you know more obvious, more prominent uh, and more clear that uh, we need to work with our own energy. So, as I always say, in the outer scapes, in the on the world stage. So I'm just lighting some sage here in my shell. There um, are many places that we can send our consciousness, send our awareness. Many things that we can wonder about or become involved in, get our mind involved in. Whether it's the war that's happening in um, Ukraine, Russia, or what's happening with um, Elon Musk and Twitter, or a neighbor's dispute, or a drama that's going on with some friends or family. If we constantly engage ourselves into those situations we deplete our vitality and that leaves our consciousness being diverted and siphoned to all different areas and that means that we have a lot more to, to call back and if we're not calling all that energy back then we're just be constantly becoming entangled and feeding those entanglements more and more and to the few people that i've been speaking to as I've used the analogy of our consciousness field being a beautiful, fluffy, neat ball of yarn. So if you can just bring that image to your mind's eye, nicely wrapped, not too tight, just a nice, loose, but integrated ball of, of wool or yarn so that energy can flow through. There's vitality moving through that energy. The chi has, you know, space to move around but once we start to engage over there and then we engage over there we're actually sending a string a piece of that yarn over to that direction and to that direction and to that direction maybe we're putting a lot over there so there's quite a few different um, streams of consciousness or streams of yarn going over to that direction all of the wondering the guessing the um, curiosity that gets quite entangled sends our mind and our mental body and the energy of that into those situations and what that does is it diverts and distracts us from doing the work that we need to do in our own lane which is our deep healing our inner work and to expand our consciousness to the christed light i often i ask my own christed high self because that's who i communicate with the most and my Christed higher self constantly tells me stay in your lane it's diverting and um, depleting your energy it's to de it's depleting your energy by engaging the ego mind that you don't have the best opportunity to switch on the higher mind now the higher mind is part of the higher heart complex within the crystal heart and a Christed God mind that we all have access to when we've done enough of our inner work and we've expanded our consciousness to a very high level. So the other, the other way of looking at this is that all of these distractions are like part of the evolutionary ascension soul game of the matrix. And these are all twists and turns and there is temptations to try and bind us and bind our energy and then, so they're there as little consciousness traps now of course there will always be situations in our life where we need to engage our consciousness if we've got children family a partner um, we are working with their energy all the time so if we work with clients like i do the important thing is that you call your energy back you clear all cords hooks streams and attachments at the end of the day or the end of the session whenever you've had um, 
maybe an altercation with a family member or a loved one. You just want to disengage so that you don't, you know, have this quantum entanglement starting to get messy. So imagine what a ball of yarn looks like when it is just so depleted and there's streams everywhere. It's it's a mess. If you're not in Australia, you might not know what the Mr. Men books are, but remember Mr. Messy? He's just a scribbly, a scribbly character. And that's how I imagine it would just be this frazzled, frantic looking consciousness field that has no energy left for itself, for its own expansion and its own love. So the more we're going to see more and more and more crazy come out and it is there at the highest level. It's there. It's all happening for for a very good reason. There are still many souls awakening. And what I'm constantly seeing now is those who have been um, having their consciousness around the fourth dimension are sl slowly giving up those attachments and moving into the fifth and starting to realize that coming back to self is what we're here to do and and that's what they want to do. They want to shine their love. They want to shine their light. They want to take their energy back and actually work on their inner stuff. And yeah, so we're seeing that more and more. And then there are people really still playing in that 3D world that are going to start to question and they need to question on a fourth dimensional level and they need to kind of get involved into that that 4D kind of mind so they can, they can question. And that's a necessary part of the step to waking up. But it's just like what I always say is we don't need to stay there. So once we've been there for a bit and we know what's going on and we, you know, then we trust our intuition with the rest of it and we find the answers within we don't need to keep engaging in politics and what's happening over there. And I wonder what they're going to do next. And that is all just a, um, a complete depletion. But staying there for a while seems to be part of part of the journey. And there are no doubt people with that that have roles that have soul roles to play within that to help others wake up. And if that's part of their journey, that's part of their journey. And that's part of their role. So we just have to know with engaging with our higher self, what is our role? So for me, I know that's not my role. I know that about halfway through 2020, I was, I was very, very, became very clear that I needed to go back into engaging my soul and embodying my soul within the human body, the physical body. The process that I'd started before 2020 um, happened and everything went so that took a lot of us out for a while, but it was a necessary part of the road. So feel if you, you know, tune in and just see if you can feel when you're getting diverted. And when you are all diverted, then just tune in and, and feel the difference in your energy when you're all distracted and diverted. And then when you're whole and you're bringing everything back to you because we have to open our hearts and the way to open our hearts is to put a lot of energy through also we're getting a lot of energy now coming through um, the solar events the multiple solar events and we need um, to have as much physical stamina as you like and I say stamina but we need to really take the rest that we need to drink lots of water you know get our feet on on the earth get into nature and just keep things really simple really streamlined and come back to self so we can allow these energies these incoming energies to do what they need to do and we don't want to be all diverted and distracted like a frazzled ball of yarn when this is happening because we're not going to be able to integrate those energies it's going to be really tough on the physical body and on and on the consciousness field and on the mind and on the emotions so if this doesn't resonate that's okay you know this might not be um, part of your journey at this moment and you have to do what's right for you and you always have to trust your own guidance and your own discernment and I just speak what's right for me and what I've been sharing with my clients and um, you know people who are close to me at the moment and this is something that they've resonated with and so I thought I'd come on and share anyway I'm going to leave it there sending you much love and much care for um, what's unfolding stay in your heart bye for now